cataractcoach.com, Vizian ICL, posterior chamber, fake IOL removal. So removing this fake lens and doing cataract surgery. The patient had ICL placement done by me about 20 years ago for treatment of minus 12 diopters of myopia. She did very well for about 20 years, and now she's since developed a little bit of a cataract change, obviously presbyopia, now that she's about age 50, and of course, it's time to do surgery here, removing this fake lens and doing cataract surgery. Now, first things first are, make a big incision. You need a 2.8 millimeter wide incision in order to remove this lens comfortably. Don't make a 2.2 millimeter incision. Now, with the eye full of viscoelastic, using a Sinsky hook here, getting that one eyelet, and let's get that section of the eye well above the iris. There you go. So we're getting that posterior chamber lens up above just these two foot plates on this side, the temporal side near my incision. I want them above the iris, just using a Sinsky hook there. And then we'll use plenty of viscoelastic to help lift that up. And the goal is to use forceps to grab that ICL and it's so soft and flexible, you can pull it right outside the eye. So again, more viscoelastic going in, plenty of OVD, dispersive viscoelastic. Now using these micro forceps, or any forceps, you want to be able to grab that lens and make sure you get a good grasp of it, a strong grasp, right there in the middle somewhere, and then you can just pull it right outside the eye. So once you get that grasp, there it is. Now just retract and pull it out of the eye, and you'll see it folds on itself, and there it is. Place it on top of the cornea. So why do I place it there? I want to ensure that it's fully intact, that there are no broken off pieces that are stuck or left inside the eye. And that looks good. Now time for the regular cataract surgery. So we'll speed the video up here a little bit. Let's clean off that viscoelastic from the eye. Now the nice part here in a patient like this is we're able to put in a lens that may have more benefits than just a monofocal lens. And in fact, in this case, the patient's going to get a toric EDOF lens, so extended depth of focus lens. So getting that Rex is done here, you can see that done very nicely. The nucleus itself is not too dense, so that'll be an easy one to remove. We'll do some hydro dissection here. In case you're wondering, the preoperative biometry is pretty straightforward. You can use optical methods, such as your IOL Master, your LensStar, your other devices from other manufacturers. As long as it's optical, it's going to go right through that ICL and give you an accurate axial length. Now you can see the nucleus was relatively soft. We aspirated it out very easily. Now time for cortex removal. Do keep in mind, we do have a wider than typical phaco incision. So now I have the, the purple sleeve, which is the 2.8 millimeter sleeve on our IA probe. We also have the same sleeve on our phaco probe. Don't use that tiny sleeve for your 2.2 incision when you have a 2.8 incision because then you'll have AC instability. The problem there is you may get even rupture of the posterior capsule. So you need to have fluidic chamber balance and stability, and you achieve that by good fluidics and not having excessive leakage from the incision. So there are the eye, a fake filling up the capsule bag with our cohesive viscoelastic. And you can see just that incision there temporally is a little on the wider side. We've taken that into account in our calculations for the astigmatism and the torque IOL placement. So we've calculated out the appropriate torque lens here. You can see the patient has some with the rule astigmatism. Get that lens in the capsule bag pretty nicely. Let's remove the viscoelastic and then we'll get the lens centered up. Now the lens has to be of course centered in the visual axis with that central EDOF element, but also we have to uh, line up the toric marks of the IOL with the correct meridian of the cornea. So here we go, just dialing that lens around. You can see there are marks on the cornea as well as marks on the lens. And if we line those two up, and then you can see that central focusing element of the EDOF lens, get that right there in the center, patient will do well. Now look how wide the incision is. Yes, wider than typical incision. Let's get that sealed up, a little bit of hydration here, and we'll check at the end to make sure it looks really good. So you're gonna see more and more of these patients with fake IOLs that need to have cataract surgery because we did a lot of these 20 years ago. And those patients at the time were about 30 years old, maybe 35, maybe 40, and now they're 55 or 60 years old, and it's time for their cataract surgery. As you know, these myopic patients get cataract surgery earlier, and these patients have higher needs for their vision often. And so there you go, end of the case, a little triamcinolone, a little antibiotic, a little myostat, looking good. Now look here at the end, we're being extra careful to make sure we really seal up that main incision. Thanks for watching.